Yeti Punk here, pop culturalist extraordinaire. Going to be showing some recent purchases from AliExpress, some bootleg goodness, knockoff greatness, Marvel Legends. Let's get into it. All right, everyone. Here we got two bootlegs that I recently purchased off AliExpress for very, very cheap. I already opened them up because I tried to do a cool unboxing type video that ended up, well, let's just say it was complete garbage and crap. So <laughs> we're just going to do it this way. So these are two Marvel Legend bootlegs that I purchased next to nothing on AliExpress. I do have a third one on the way from this same series. So I have them turned over right now so we can see these awesome backing cards which obviously it says Spider-Man Classics. It has a little thing about Peter Parker. Super posable Green Goblin, which it's not Green Goblin. These are, I guess, your directions for what the figure can do. These are the figures that they are offering in the line. And of course we have the warning. And again on this side, same kind of thing. So nothing really much going on. Now these are supposed to be Marvel Legends, <laughs> which they are clearly not. Um, here I'll zoom in on the uh, line. So we have Tobey Maguire Spider-Man, looks like on a ledge, on a gargoyle. We have the a, Todd McFarlane comic book version. We have a battle damage Tobey Maguire. I guess um, either two different daredevils or the same. And a green goblin. And a partridge and a pear tree. No, so <laughs> this is what I purchased. So now uh, fortunately, I, this one came damaged. As you can see, his arm is down here. Completely broken off. This is the battle damage Tobey Maguire with the base, which honestly, you know, for them being bootlegs, honestly, they're not really that bad. You know, for this being a movie version, you know, you have the movie logo on the side saying Spider-Man. You have a picture of Tobey Maguire. The only thing that gives it away, really, that it's not a movie figure is that in fact that it says Spider-Man in the comic book slash cartoon font. And same with the backing card, it's the same, but this is they're really not that bad of food. You can tell they're bootlegs paired up with the normal versions, but honestly, they're real, like for the price of them and for the price of a normal version, you know, these are fun. These are great knockoffs to have. Unfortunately, mine came broken, which some of them did. But, you know, the, the bubble on the card is pretty wrecked. There's a few holes. But I may be able to open this figure up and reattach the arm using some awesome Gorilla Glue. And, and putting, resealing it back up. And because my, my thing with displaying these knockoffs is keeping the boxes. Because that's part of it too. And uh, let's go into the next one I got. So the next one I purchased was the Todd McFarlane's Battle Damage Spider-Man. As you can see, his base comes with the lizard there. Which is supposed to be buried in the sewer. This is from issue 2, I believe, of the Todd McFarlane comic book run. Same card, nothing like that. This one is not damaged. Now I have had the original figure of this one before in a previous Marvel Legends collection that I used to have. And there are noticeably <laughs> noticeable differences. Oh, you know what? Just noticing it, his leg isn't attached into the joint. But you know what? That's okay. We'll get that fixed up as well. No, <laughs> but um, as you as you can see, the skin tone is a little darker. Same with the red on the figure, and the base doesn't have as much detail as what your official one would be. But this base actually does have a lot more detail to it. As you can see. All in all, you know, they're pretty fun. They're not that expensive at all. Especially if you use the... I guess AliExpress has these coins that you can use to purchase the figure. Like, to purchase items with. And it takes a certain 
discount off or certain money off of them kind of thing. So these do work out a lot cheaper than what you think if you are to get them. Personally, I like them. I recommend them. You're taking a gamble if you're getting broken ones or non-broken ones, but it's your choice if you want to open a dispute or anything like that. And be like, hey, you know, I got broken figures here. <laughs> but it, honestly, for the hassle of going through that process, it, you can just glue them. Honestly, they're just staying in the package. They're bootlegs. They're not worth any monetary value or anything like that. They're just fun, fun knockoffs, and I love knockoffs. <laughs> so I do have a third one coming on the way. I have a Daredevil coming that I'm, we're going to get into a little bit. So hopefully that one doesn't come broken as well. So there you go, guys. I'm going to close up here for you. So everyone, that's what I have for you today. A couple really bad bootleg Marvel Legend figures from AliExpress. But honestly, I've gotten some other figures from AliExpress that are really, that are official, that are, that arrive non-broken, <laughs> non-damage. So don't hinder this experience from putting you off on AliExpress. There are some deals on there to be had. And uh, so I hope you enjoyed it, please. Leave a comment, like the video. I know this is the first one of a new era of uh, my channel, so to speak. Um, this is one that's going to be moving forward. I just didn't want to get pegged down into a category of only doing movies. I wanted to share my other hobbies and some really cool things like over here and over here. <laughs> That'll be getting into at a later point. That was some other really cool stuff that you see behind me. So please leave a comment, share the video if you can, subscribe, it's free. It's free, it doesn't cost you a thing. Although it could cost you your soul. No, I'm joking, it doesn't cost you a thing. Stay tuned because there's gonna be some really cool stuff here. The editing will get better, I hope. The filming may get better, who knows. But this is my form of sharing what I love, what my hobby is. Being a pop culturist is something I've always been. Being able to share that with everyone, opposed to driving my wife up the wall with, really, do you have to tell me about this figure? Like, I really don't care. <laughs> so it'd just be nice to share things that I enjoy. So please, see you on the next one. Smell you later. Bye, Felicia. I hate this channel. Ow!